Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I am a new mom to a three and a half year old little girl. Her name is Hadley Jean. Today I wanted to make a video to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how to make a freezer stash of breast milk. So I unintentionally started a freezer stash because I had a lot of issues with breastfeeding directly in the beginning. We have kind of transitioned back to nursing and pumping because I am back at work now and now I feel like her latch has gotten a little better. But in the beginning I was exclusively pumping and I did that for about two months. And along the way I ended up saving a lot of breast milk. So I wanted to share with you guys on how you can achieve this. So my first piece of advice for you is to figure out what your goal is. I know a lot of moms will save thousands and thousands of ounces of breast milk and they get a deep freezer just to put their breast milk in and I think that's fantastic. I wish I had the time and like the patience and the supply to do that but not all women can do that. So if that's your goal, that's great. If not, if you just want to create like a maintenance stash, which is what I wanted to do, I just kind of wanted a stash to have if I were going to go away for a weekend and leave her with someone or um, to create a stash for when I went back to work. I went back to work after eight weeks of maternity leave and I originally didn't think about starting a breast milk stash. It like never really crossed my mind until I realized that I was having all this leftover milk and then I researched on how you can save it instead of wasting it and then I found a bunch of tutorials and information out there about how to actually freeze your breast milk and how to create a stash in your freezer. My second piece of advice for you is to invest in a good breast pump. Now most insurance companies do offer free breast pumps so that's definitely something that you should look into. I kind of, I got my breast milk through an outside company that kind of um, helps set up everything with your insurance and your doctor's office and I forget what company that was called but I will look it up and I will link it down below but it's super easy I think I got my breast milk I think I got my breast milk I think I got my breast pump in like uh, I don't know maybe less than a week so it's super easy to do and definitely don't go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a breast pump if your insurance will give it to you for free um, the one of the breast pumps that my insurance offered was the Lanzano smart pump and I actually really like it I didn't really see too many people out there that had it. Everyone raves about the Medela and the Spectra, but I decided to try something different and I tried the Lanzano Smart Pump and I love it because it actually has an app that you can download on your phone and it helps you keep track of how many ounces that you've pumped each session. So I definitely recommend investing in a good pump. Do your research and every body is different and every woman is different so some pumps work for other women and some don't so definitely just do your research before buying a pump so my next piece of advice is to set up a schedule from the get-go for breastfeeding or pumping you want to make sure that you keep your body on a schedule your body knows when it should be producing milk when your baby eats the most that way it's not all over the place and it actually is easier for your body to create more of a breast milk supply if you stay on a relative schedule so in the beginning I think I was pumping seven times a day and I kept my 3 a.m. pump so the middle of the night pump up until two months a lot of women will go longer than that with their middle of the night pump but I wanted to give it a try because I felt like my supply was holding up really well and she started sleeping through the night a little more when she hit two months old so I dropped that middle of the night pump when she was two months and I didn't see a dip in my supply. But once you get yourself to a schedule, you also need to make sure if you are nursing directly with your baby, it's a good idea just to pump right after each feed. That way you make sure that your baby has completely emptied your breasts. Not only does that signal your body to create more breast milk, but it also just creates extra breast milk that you can store and that way you start a stash. I know that Hadley doesn't always empty each breast and sometimes she feeds on one breast and not the other during some feeds. So pumping after she eats definitely helps have a jump start in my breast milk supply. So I did a lot of research in the beginning and some lactation consultants, like the one in the hospital I think told me 
It's my cat again. <laughs> Some people might tell you that you're not supposed to pump too early, like you're supposed to wait like at least 12 weeks until your breast milk supply is regulated to start pumping. But honestly, my recommendation to you is to pump right from the beginning. I started pumping, I think, four days after Hadley was born, and I think it really helped me bring in um, my breast milk supply. I have talked to some moms who didn't start pumping until two weeks or so before they went back to work, and they ended up regretting it because they their milk supply was already established just from their baby nursing, and sometimes your baby doesn't nurse a lot in the beginning, and they only eat a couple ounces, and then they end up needing more as they get older. So. Sometimes it's hard for your body to start producing more than it's used to later on. So my recommendation is to start pumping early. You're also going to want to invest in breast milk storage bags and you can get these at Walmart, Target, Amazon. I've used the Lanzano bags and the Up and Up brand from Target and basically they're just little sterile bags that you put your breast milk in and you can freeze them flat in your freezer and then you can get these little bins and I'll link all of this down below. You get these little bins that you put in your freezer and it kind of creates an organized storage area in your freezer so you, there's not bags laying around everywhere. And you can also label them. You can label the date, the amount, the time you pumped. And um, so it's just a really nice way to organize your breast milk instead of just putting them in a bunch of bottles that takes up a bunch of space. So I definitely recommend getting breast milk storage bag. Another tip I have for you is to stay hydrated. And when you're breastfeeding, you're gonna need a lot more water and a lot more electrolytes and nutrients and calories. So you need about 500 extra calories a day when you're breastfeeding. You need to make sure you're keeping up with your hydration. I try to drink at least a gallon of water a day and it sounds like a lot and it is hard to do. But I do notice the more water I drink, the more my breast milk supply is maintained. And I also recommend body armor. You can get this at Kroger. Um, I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But body armor, it's like a sport drink and it has coconut water. It has, what else does it have? Electrolytes, it has potassium, vitamins, like a bunch of V vitamins. Um, vitamin A, C, and E. So this really just helps um, pack your body with nutrients and hydration and they're really yummy. Um, this is the watermelon strawberry flavor. They have strawberry banana, uh, like I think pineapple mango or something like that. They have a bunch of flavors that are really good. So I definitely recommend this. I also like to drink mother's milk tea and I got that at Earth Fair, I believe, the grocery store. I'll link that below as well. But I Notice that that's definitely helped keep up my supply with going back to work. And I think it just has like Finner Geek. I think that's how you say it. I don't know how you say it. But um, it has just some herbs that are supposed to be good for lactation. I also try to make sure I eat a lot of oatmeal or like rolled oats. I try to eat oatmeal once a day or every other day. And I think that's definitely helped maintain my supply as well. And my last piece of advice for you guys is to don't stress about it. If you're not able to save a bunch of breast milk in your freezer, then that's okay. You can always supplement with formula. I'm a firm believer that fed is best, but I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks that worked for me with saving um, some breast milk. I hope this was informative for you guys. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If anyone has any advice on breastfeeding in general or pumping or other tips and tricks for starting a breast milk freezer stash, please let me know because I'm always looking for new advice. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you join me and my family. Give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. I'll have that all linked down below. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.